Hello everyone, welcome back for our last sensory arts and crafts video. Um, today is not so much an arts and crafts, just a sensory activity for the tactile sense or our touch sense that we can do just to keep ourselves busy. Um, so what I did was I took a little Tupperware container and I filled it with some rice. You can use rice, you can use beans, you can use sand. Sand can get a little messy, so just be careful. Um, you can use water and soap, even if you wanted to do like a water bin or a water table. You can use all kinds of things. Um, I've seen people who use like oatmeal and grains, um, flour, sugar, whatever you like. Um, but I like rice because it has a smooth texture, but it still is, it's a grain. So it's got that grainy little small pieces that are smooth, but provide the feeling of different parts. Um, things that are more fine, like sand, are going to be easier to find objects and things that are more coarse, like uh, rice or even beans, are going to make it a little bit more difficult, especially if you do this with your eyes closed. So what I have here are just two pom-poms just to demonstrate to you what you would do with your rice bin. So I would hide these two little pom-poms somewhere in my rice bin or have someone else hide them for me. And you want them buried deep so that they are not visible. And then I would close my eyes or look away and I would just go digging and feeling and see if I can find the pom-poms. So I found one. Let's see. I can locate the other one. Oh, here it is. So that is how you make a rice bin. And you can stick other things in there besides pom-poms. You can stick coins in there. You can stick toys in there. Um, you know, just be careful with the things you choose to stick in your bin that they may come out a little bit powdery or um, they may come out covered in sand or full of sand if you do a sand bin. Um, you can also use larger Tupperware containers or storage bins to pour the rice, sand, beans, whatever you choose into the bin. And then you can keep things like measuring spoons, spoons, um, measuring cups, different toys in that bin. And you can just keep different bags of either rice or sand or whatever in there. Um, hopefully if I can find it again, I will link down to an article below that talks you through how to set up and store a sensory bin with the multiple different sensory bases, which is what we call like the rice or the beans or the sand, with multiple different sensory bases available to you. And it talks about like good toys and good scoopers and funnels and things like that to invest in to stick in your sensory bin if this is something you really enjoy and want to keep as a permanent part of your daily routine. So that is sensory bins real quick. And the other thing you can do with these is also just spend time sticking your hands in the rice, feeling around, getting used to that texture if it's not your favorite. And you can watch it fall. You can listen to it fall if that feels relaxing for you. It's whatever works to kind of bring you down. It's similar to those calm down jars. We're just trying to make sure that we feel calm and ready to learn or ready to go on to our next activity or next daily routine. All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me with our sensory activities. I don't know about you guys, but my place is officially a bit of a mess. So I'm going to clean up all of these sensory crafts we did this week 
and I'm going to get ready for next week, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Keep occupied and stay kind to one another. Bye.